I'm going to demonstrate two methods for assembling bricks in Onshape. The first method, I'll use more what I would consider kind of a standard approach. So we'll rotate this around and we'll slide it up. And in this case, I'm going to use two cylindrical mates. And let's slide this up. Add another cylindrical mate here. And that's going to align those two. And then the next one I'm going to add will be a planar mate. And that planar mate is going to um, stop the translation. Okay. And that's fully constrained it. So two cylindricals and one planar is one method for fixing these bricks together. Okay. Another method is using make connectors. To create the make connector, I'm going to create a sketch on the bottom. And this sketch is going to uh, use, actually, we won't do uh, construction. We'll just use the top um, cylinder. And I'll create a mate connector at the center of that sketch. Okay. So there's my mate connector. And to build this mate connector into a pattern, it is a feature pattern. The feature I'm patterning is the mate connector. Um, I will use, let's see, turn some planes on. We'll use the front plane. Uh, we'll go eight um, millimeters. And distance of four, or sorry, instance count of four. And in the second direction, we'll do eight millimeters and an instance count of two. Oh, wrong direction. Let's add the right on there. That looks good. For the make connectors, we do need the apply per instance option. And we've got make connectors at the bottom of the brick now. Okay. Insert another one. And this one comes in with the make connectors on. And now I can fasten that mate connector onto um, an existing part. And K to toggle those mate connectors off. So two options for assembling um, bricks in Onshape. One using a cylindrical cylindrical planar connection for, uh, between two parts. And the other one creating a mate pa connector pattern and assembling the mate connectors.